So this is a book called What a Wonderful World by Mr. Powell. The contents of this book is about a lot of things that we've learned about it, of the earth and many interesting facts about it. So we came up the, with the idea because we understand that in year five and year six, we, you probably would have learned about space and the earth, but because of coronavirus, you may have missed out on it. So this book will help you catch up on everything that you missed out on and it will get you an advantage for when you learn about the earth and space in more detail in year seven. In the classroom, um, you can't go at your own pace, it's just what the majority is. So with the book you can go at your own pace and if you just want some general knowledge, you can read it. And also, if the lesson is too easy for you or you just want a bit more of a challenge, you can also read it because um, there are some pages where it's more 12 and up. We know lots more on this planet than we do other planets. It's important to learn about the world we live in. For example, in this book, it tells us about days and nights and this and why there are different seasons and this helps us understand why some places in the earth have longer days and shorter days and it also helps us understand that each season has its place and different things happen in each season because of the earth's axis and the way it's rotated. And what we've done is we've got the first draft of the book and gave and giving back feedback and to improve on the book and added features like a glossary and interactive activities. What made you come up with the idea to make a book about the Earth? So the Earth, I find the Earth really engaging, really interesting. I mean, all the way that how the Earth works, all the cycles, how everything fits together, it's, it's just really interesting and it gives me a real appreciation of all the other creation as well. I mean the fact that we've got these systems that are like recycling systems, keeping the earth clean even though we're using it, it's, it's really outstanding. We have life here on earth, we don't see that on other planets in our solar system. We have all these systems which we've learned about in lots of detail as well that they preserve the life, they allow us to function, uh, you know, we, we also can set plans in motion. We, we know, for example, that in a year's time we're going to be back at summer and we, we know how that all works and, and that's, that's really helpful. It's reassuring to know that these patterns are there, that on the earth that we can have these expectations, that we also have things to look forward to as well because uh, there's so much variety and interesting things on the earth and, and we've only really touched the surface in, in a project like this but it's, it's a nice starting point. I want other students to have that enjoyment as well so we obviously have spoken about the earth in, in our class but also students that are in year six they they should have been doing this topic this term and, and many of them would have missed out so it's, it's important that they do get the opportunity and the enjoyment of learning about the earth. Also in here there are terms, there are words that they need to know by the time they get into year seven. So I'd like for them to be able to access that, have a little bit of joy and get a little bit excited about science by the time they get to year seven. So in our solar system we have eight planets, I mean we have dwarf planets as well but the eight planets and all of them are interesting in their own way. But the one that really, really stands out as something special is the Earth. And, and there's a lot that we do know about the Earth. In the future, we may have a book, you know, we could do a project perhaps about Mars or Venus. And that, that could be nice as well. But right now, the one that really hits home and, and it makes us and students really interested is talking about the Earth.